Hello and welcome back in Secure Hunt area, and today we're back with the SummerSlam reactions video, as you can hear in the background. We already had two matches, uh, I didn't actually know it started um, tonight, usually it starts at like 1 in the morning. So far we've had Baron Corbin and John Cena, it's a sick move, isn't it? Baron Corbin done a Choke Slam backbreaker. One of the best moves I've saw in a while, but unfortunately, like I said, John Cena would win that, and he did. And we've also had the Women's Championship match, but this match that Women's Championship match, which um, Natalia was surprised and he actually won that. So I predicted Naomi to win. So I weren't actually expecting Natalia. If uh, she did win, I was expecting it. Expecting a cash in, but no cash in, surprisingly. Still, no. Yeah, it probably won't happen, but now we've got the shark cage match, which I'm not too sure how it's going to go, what's going to happen, but I'm going for fit. So. I just made my food and missed the match, so to say. But from what I can see from Twitter, Big Cass won that. Somehow, Enzo Mori escaped the cage, from what I can see. I've got no clue how, but it does sound quite an amazing ending to be fair. Um, just had a segment with Daniel Bryan and Kurt Angle. He was arguing which brand was better, and it went into a no, oh, yes, no, yes. Good segment so far, I'm loving it. And then, as Randy Orton's match has just started, Rusev comes up. That was a quick match. Rusev came out, attacked Randy Orton. Randy Orton's just won. Okay, from out of nowhere, came straight away. Rusev, you suck. Because I was recording, I, I didn't even see it that well. But I came from out of nowhere and it's over, Bruce. And new Raw Tag Team Champion, Sasha Banks. So far, everyone's changed, every title has changed on this uh, pay per view. But Cruiserweight tag team. Smackdown Women's Championship and Raw Women's Championship. It all changed hands, which means it's a possibility. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins may win now. So far, prediction wise, I've got. Usos, that, that was one. Oh, great. You here for the audition too? Uh, I think it's about John Cena. That's two. I could ask you the same thing. And I think I said Brandy Orton. Yeah, I did. So that's three predictions so far. It's like every other match. So, still got like two. Three more hours left of this. I, I'm not sure how long, but still got a few matches left. It's KFC effort, really. Sean Michaels is now the KFC guy. Was originally Dolph Ziggler, but I'm not gonna argue. My God, Finn Balor's playing mind games with Bray Wyatt. Decides to do that whole world in his hands, and we hear his music come out. Should be a good match. This match so far is like it's amazing. I think even Bray Wyatt is like creeped out by it. Which is unusual because Ray Wyatt's the one creeping people out usually with his 
spider claw. One, two, three, and the demon is victorious. You're hitting pretty much what you just said. So, I'm not even, I weren't really paying attention to the end of the match. Cause I'm actually busy on my computer at the same time. Doing what? I can't really say because it's YouTube related. But, yeah, um. Which are my replays now? So he's done a spider. Finn Balor's just go straight up. Like, it was basically. Basically him trapping him into like. Playing mind games again. So. Just proves Prey was not a master of game, uh, mind games. And demons beat eaters of the worlds. So we've got the Raw Tag Team Championship match coming on next. I'm actually questioning whether the Shield, well, they're not really the Shield, but questioning whether the Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins are going to come out to the Shield music. I mean, it is technically Roman Reigns now, so it's really, really, really weird what they're going to come out. Seth Rollins has got a new feature. I'm pretty sure it's the one that was actually leaked. He's now got his new theme tune, which is pretty sick. So Dean Ambrose is in the sharpshooter, is going to win. Please. Been tracked him. Rollins is coming back. Not coming back. He's going to pass out. I actually just fought Sheamus and Cesaro won, but then Seth Rollins just jumps in and breaks up the pin, so it's still going. Another title change. Honestly, every title has changed so far. It's, I actually did want them to win though because you now Dean Ambrose has had every single title apart from the Universal. But, and so Frontenac is now a two-time tag team champion. So that's pretty cool. This match is just going to be too sweet. God, Kevin Owens has just done a move on AJ Styles and basically pulling him down. Just looked absolutely botched. Probably weren't, but the way he came down on his neck, it just looked. Ugh. And AJ Styles has just frog splashed Kevin Owens, hitting Shane McMahon at the same time. So Shane McMahon's going to get involved pretty soon. Pop up power bomb. Fast count. No, slow count. Well, thank God for that. Kevin Owens didn't actually win like everyone thought so far. So Shane's just counted 1, 2, 3. But AJ Styles had his foot on the rope. I'm pretty sure Kevin Owens just swore as well. So they just cut that out. 1, 2, Like a replay of the match already with AJ Styles getting pushed into Kevin Owens. This time it was Kevin Owens getting pushed into AJ Styles. Pretty sick. Phenomenal forearms. Eddie hit. Turn him over. Nope, we don't want that. <laughs> Too sweet. It's just like. Just the first person 
He's retained the title for Fortnite. And it, again, so every other match I'm getting right here from my pred predictions. It's just really weird. I'm pretty sure I'm on five now. So I called AJ Styles to win. So yeah, five. So by the looks of it, they're skipping me. Uh, Mr. What? Well, they're gonna miss the Mr. Rudge and the Hardy Boys. And getting straight to the WWE Championship. Because we've got no one left. We've got a Universal Championship match and the WWE Championship match left. So we're probably gonna miss that Mr. Rudge by the looks of it. So far, Shinsuke Nakamura's entrance has got to be the best. I suppose I'm like a little violinist, and his music's just great. So it looks like the uh, championship changeovers stop now still got the universal championship uh, we've got 40 minutes of the pay per view left which means for the most likely i'm definitely gonna skip the mr raj ma match up it's happening with my hair now well yeah there we go that would do but yeah um shinsuke and nakamura has just lost to jinder mahal uh, not even sure what his finishers called, I'm not gonna lie. But finisher, one, two, three, it's all over. So yeah, if they skip the Miz to Rodge matchup, we have now got the beast enter in the match. If he loses Paul Heyman and Brock leave WWE. Now Brock is actually rumoured to go back to UFC, so whether it happens, no one knows. Just check. So not only has Braun Strowman just put Brock Lesnar through two tables, he's been went and flipped the table on top of him. So we all know Brock Lesnar's going to be out of the match for a while. And I'm probably going to pick up a win just because of that move. All the referees are just trying to push it. Yeah. He's free. Referees, you heard that down. Maybe Brock's not going to win then. He's just been kited off in the stretch. But it's not stopped anyone before. So anything's possible still. And Lesnar's back, strolling down to a ring. Spear to, well it's not really a spear. It's more like a takedown to Braun Strowman. And Braun's out. Reigns, you got to get involved, didn't you? Welcome to Suplex City. And Lesnar retains, pinning Roman Reigns. Which means, uh, the rumour is he's going back to UFC but then there's another rumour saying he's going to keep it to WrestleMania 31 or losing it to Roman Reigns but who knows 
He's meant to be facing like Finn Balor. He's just done some Mara Joe, Braun Strowman. Pretty much the big guys of WWE at the minute. But. Guess we won't have an active champion until then. The replay on this is just like. That is like the most epic part of a show, just seeing Lesnar get put through two tables and then the table get dumped on top of him. But is that the end of the show? I'm gonna go with the yes. Spider-Man looks at it, that's the end of the show. Um, I should be having my WWE 2K series starting up, but I'm not sure what one yet. I think now I'm gonna do my career. And just do like. It daily ish. Or every two days, and then like a video in between that. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna work it yet, but that's the plan. Until WWE 2K18 comes up. Next pay per view is the 24th of September, and I will actually be at Eurogamer, so I don't know whether I'll be doing a reactions video. But if you have liked this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. And until next time, actually, if we can hit 20 likes on this, like I said, I will do uh, May Young reactions. Until next time, I've been in Skihana and adios.